We start off with breaking news this morning. A suspect is now in custody after a deadly shooting at a bar in Jefferson City. Thank you for joining us this morning. I'm Erica McGuire. We will get to your out the door forecast in just a moment. Police say the shooter started firing inside Jay Fenny's bar at 217 East Highway Street in Jefferson City, killing two people. ABC 17's Kennedy Miller is live at the scene in Jefferson City. And Kennedy, this morning, JC police walked you through what they know so far about the shooting. Good morning, Erica. Definitely a sad and tragic, rather scary way for many people to end their night here in Jefferson City. Right now, I'm standing right outside of Jay Finney's in Jefferson City, where police did confirm that shots were fired a little before one this morning. Now, police say their, dis uh, their dispatch system was, quote, inundated with calls this morning. And when police got on scene, they discovered two victims on the floor with gunshot wounds. Police say their response time was quick with multiple officers from several agencies arriving on scene within minutes. At this time, Jefferson City Lieutenant David Williams says its team is still trying to determine more about the shooting, including how many people were injured and inside the bar during the time of the incident. And at this point, we're still trying to figure out exactly who was involved, what led up to uh, the disturbance that resulted in the shots fired. But yes, we have two fatalities at this time. And Lieutenant Williams says it's going to be a long morning for their team as they continue to process uh, the the invest as they continue to investigate the crime. Um, but there should be a press release actually released later on this morning, according to the Jefferson City Police Department. That'll provide you guys with a little bit more information. Reporting live in Jefferson City, Kennedy Miller, ABC 17 News. Thank you so much for that report, Kennedy. And if you have any information, you're asked to contact the Jefferson City Police Department. And we will continue to follow this story and bring you any updates as soon as we get them on air and online at abc17news.com. Now we're going to